What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today I got a quick tip for you on Sample 1. What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Um, today I got a quick, simple, easy tutorial for you guys on how to make the velocity changes take effect when you're using Sample 1. I get this question um, about three times a day. People see me using Sample 1 and they, you know, they give up on this sampler because it doesn't it doesn't do what they want it to do now before I get into this quick money tip I want to tell you guys I just dropped a hell of a tutorial on studio one tutorials.com it is the guaranteed 100% magic bullet for beat block I'm talking about I will put this method up against anything you've ever seen on beat block and I'm going to tell you that this is going to change your life and it's going to level you up as a producer because it is a industry secret it's not something that's talked about you probably wouldn't think to do this but a lot of professionals do it and it's a way that you can produce at a high level consistently over and over and over again even when you don't feel like making a beat so if you're having trouble with this i mean you could go to studio one tutorials.com and go ahead and get yourself a trial membership for the one day pay the 2.99 watch the video cancel and change your whole beat making life real talk and you know that's that's me going against my own business but i'm just letting y'all know like there's real shit going on at studio one tutorials.com now down to the nitty gritty when you when this plugin starts out this is the this is the initial phase right you'll have you have your pitch your filter and your amp section if you look down at these knobs they're they're in um they're in the center position right so what these are is these are values that will tell you how um things will affect either the amplitude the filter or the pitch of a sample so if you want the velocity to affect the amplitude of a sample you have to turn this all the way to the right um so for example here i have my snare drum and i've got this programmed to have a different velocity when i have it when i have this turned off check it out here let's solo that Y'all gotta forgive me, my girl's watching the playoffs right now. I'm trying to get out there and finish this video for y'all. She's turning up. So you see how that was, there was no velocity change. Now when I turn this up, say a little bit, pay attention. See, so there was a small one. Now if I turn it all the way up, you'll hear a drastic difference. And that's all there is to it. And um, all of these values, like if you want to use the mod wheel to affect the filter, you could turn this on. If you want to set this LFO, um, you know, say you've got like a pad sample or something you're using, or a or a uh, or a vocal sample that you want to use as a lead, and you want to put you know a different type of LFO on it, you can you could go ahead and do that, and then assign this LFO to you know your filter or even your pitch like this this sampler is a very powerful sampler um you just gotta you know if you see if you see buttons or knobs on it turn them experiment with them because that's that's how i figured this one out so again your amplitude if you want the velocity to affect your amp 
just turn the velo up. If you want your velocity to affect the position of the filter, turn this up. And if you want the LFO or an envelope or a filter envelope to affect your pitch, you just turn this up. So this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Production Studio One Tutorials.com. If you are interested in ending beat block and leveling up your production, go to Studio One Tutorials.com, get yourself a subscription, watch the video, and thank me later. Keep it simple, don't be basic.